Let's move on to Bart. What are we doing here? Let's take a look at Bert. What do you do in Bert? You have an input sequence. You're going to mask 15% of your tokens. And then you're asking the question of, what did I mask? And that's going to give you your training loss. For GPT type of models, you are always predicting the next word. If I give you the beginning of a sentence and A, you need to give me B. If I give you S, A, and B, you need to give me C. Bart is going to use both the encoder and the decoder part of a transformer. And at the same time, it's going to do masking. The loss function is going to come out of next token prediction. The encoder part, you have the flexibility of masking however you like. And that's the beauty. You can do arbitrary transformation of your input. What do I mean? You can do the usual, let's say your uh, sentences are like this, A, B, C, dot, the sentence ends, D, E, dot, the sentence ends. You can do token masking, which is what BERT does. Remove B, remove D, replace them by mask. You can do sentence permutation, take these sentences and then uh, bring the second sentence before the first sentence. You can rotate your documents, which is uh, take everything and then rotate it one step to the right. You can do token deletion. Some of your tokens, you're just, you're just gonna delete and, that, and you don't replace with anything. And sometimes you can do text in filling, which is sometimes you remove a token and replace it with a, with a mask. And sometimes uh, you just insert a mask for some random reason. Okay, here what you did is you took B and C, you masked it, and then you had D here, and then you put an extra mask here, which is basically, you're not masking anything. You're just putting a mask token there, inserting an extra mask. You can actually achieve the best performance by random shuffling, which is sentence permutation. And the other one is this text in filling. Now let's say you want to do fine tuning. This was the pre-training stage. Let's do fine tuning. And let's say you want to do translation. You have the encoder, it is pre-trained. You have a decoder, it is pre-trained. The only thing that you're gonna change is you're gonna introduce a randomly initialized encoder, which is gonna take a sentence perhaps in French. This has to be trained. And then the output is gonna go inside your pre-trained encoder and then it's gonna get decoded. And then it's gonna output the translation. For classification, you have a sentence, you take the same sentence and you push it both through your encoder and the decoder, and then you are gonna read off the label for your classification. Uh, you can see that this is designed for generative tasks, such as abstractive dialogue or question answering or summarization. These are generative tasks. You're gonna keep generating one word at a time. Did you lose any performance? for discriminative tasks, like the ones that you have in blue or Stanford question answering? The answer is no, you didn't lose much. These are Stanford question answering and the usual blue tasks. It is competitive to the state of the art, which is good. But at the same time, for generative tasks, you're doing much better. For instance, for summarization on two different data sets, you're doing the best. Here's an example of a summary this is the text. This is the output of the model part. You can do question answering again. It's abstractive question answering. It's a generative task. Part is doing the best. And the other one is uh, conversational response generation. You keep talking to the AI system and it's going to keep generating uh, answers. Or it can even ask questions if it wants to. So you keep conversing with the AI system and that one is doing the best. And the idea was use not only the encoder part of the transformer, not only the decoder, but use both of them. For the inputs, use the masking strategy. For the outputs, your loss function is next token prediction. I think it's a good time for me to stop. For those of you who have questions, I'll be around.